Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Tuesday, August the 24th. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 24. The first note continued. The faults that we see in others are the subject of prayer rather than of criticism. We take care to cast out the beam from our own eye before offering to remove the speck from another's. We are ready to accept the lowest place when asked and to volunteer to take it. Nevertheless, when asked to undertake work which we feel unworthy or incapable, we do not shrink from it on the grounds of humility, but confidently attempt it through the power that is made perfect in weakness. O God, you resist the proud and give grace to the humble. Help us not to think proudly, but to serve you with humility that pleases you, so we may walk in the steps of your servant Francis and receive the gifts of your grace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. God rules over all the earth. O come, let us worship. The Jubilate. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm number 5. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken to my cry for help, my King and my God, for I make my prayer to you. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. Early in the morning I make my appeal and watch for you. For you are not a God who takes pleasure in wickedness, and evil cannot dwell with you. Braggarts cannot stand in your sight. You hate all those who work wickedness. You destroy those who speak lies. The bloodthirsty and deceitful, O Lord, you abhor. But as for me, through the greatness of your mercy, I will go into your house. I will bow down toward your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness, because of those who lie in wait for me. Make your way straight before me, for there is no truth in their mouth. There is destruction in their heart. Their throat is an open grave. They flatter with their tongue. Declare them guilty, O God. Let them fall because of their schemes. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. But all who take refuge in you will be glad. They will sing out their joy forever. You will shelter them, so that those who love your name may exalt you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. You will defend them with your favor as with a shield. Source of all justice and goodness, you hate deception and evil. Lead us in the paths of righteousness and keep us from falling into sin, that we may sing out your joy in Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, From the fig tree learn its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts forth its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also, when you see these things taking place, you know that he is near at the very gates. Truly, I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But about that day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. Beware, keep alert, 
for you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey. When he leaves home and puts his slaves in charge, each with his work, and commands the doorkeeper to be on the watch. Therefore keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or at cockcrow, or at dawn, or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. And what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. We pray first for the church throughout the world. We pray for the Anglican Communion throughout the world, the Anglican Church of Canada, the province of Rupert's Land, the Diocese of Brandon. And we pray for our church leadership, those who have shepherded us through these troubled times. We pray for Bishop William, our assisting Bishop Larry, our Metropolitan Greg, our National Indigenous Archbishop Mark, our Primate Linda, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin. O Lord, guard and direct your church in the way of unity, service, and praise. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the world. We pray for those places in the world where this day people will struggle, where people will die because of warfare, famine, disease, man-made or natural disasters. We pray for Yemen, Sudan, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq and Iran, Palestine, Israel, North and South Korea, Russia, the Ukraine, and the United States. Give to all nations an awareness of the unity of the human family. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those this day that will suffer from the effects of systemic racism and prejudice. We pray for those in our community who this day will be seen as less than or an outsider or unworthy. We most especially pray for our First Nations brothers and sisters as they struggle from the effects of residential schools, the 60s scoop, and the continuous racism they've experienced. Cleanse our hearts of prejudice and selfishness and inspire us to hunger and thirst for what is right. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who today will struggle to find their daily bread. For those who will have to make difficult choices on which bills to pay and which bills not to pay. Those who will have awakened hungry and will go to bed hungry. We give thanks for those places in Brandon, an area that work with the marginalized. We give thanks for Samaritan House, safe and warm, 
Helping Hands, 7th Street Access, and the Bear Clan. Teach us to use your creation for your greater praise, that all may share the good things you provide. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick. We pray for those who are in our hospital or our nursing homes, those afflicted with COVID-19, any awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions, or isolation. And we give thanks for those who work with the sick. We pray for our first responders, our doctors, nurses, and medical technicians, for social workers and mental health workers, for researchers and scientists. Strengthen all who give their energy or skill for the healing of those who are sick in body or in mind. Lord, hear our prayer. In this time of pandemic, we pray for those who are struggling, for those who have been isolated, for those who have felt unloved or unwanted, for those who have simply been afraid to go out. We also pray for those who work in essential services who have been required to go out and work each day. And as we come to the end of the pandemic, we pray for those who have been vaccinated. And we pray for those who are still struggling to be vaccinated, whether because of availability or fear. We pray, Heavenly Father, you will open our eyes and open our hearts to understand how your love works and how this world works. Set free all who are bound by fear and despair. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant a peaceful end and eternal rest to all who are dying and your comfort to those who mourn. Lord, hear our prayer. In our prayers for the Third Order, we pray today for the European province, for Southwest England, Wales, Severn, West Midlands, and the Marshes. And we pray for Kay, James, Alicia, Lynn, Marcia, Patricia, Charlotte, Gordon, Ralph, Jamie, Anderson, Jolson, Marcio, Servino, Jose, Elsa, Rick, Gabriel. And we pray for our companions, Leah and Edward. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray, that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Collect Almighty God, we are taught by your word that all our doings without love are worth nothing. Send your Holy Spirit and pour into our hearts that most excellent gift of love, the true bond of peace and of all virtue. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clare pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace.